Hey, what's up, guys? Make a quick video on how to make a helmet for the Stormbrand builds. Let's jump into it in the Craft of Exile here. First thing we need is we need ideally an item level 82 Blizzard Crown. We need to get it Shaper and Elder. The way you do this is get the Blizzard Crown base from a ritual. And you get the cheapest Conqueror Exalt, whichever one's the cheapest, use it. Then you're gonna randomize influence in Harvest until it turns Shaper or Elder. Then you use Awakener Orb with the influence that it does not have. Make it Shaper and Elder. So that's step one. Next, get some fossils. Need Barrent. Rigid, Glyphic. Rigid helps us get the Hypo. Glyphic for the 30% more damage mod. Then Aberrant blocks the 50% Fizz's Extra Lightning from this fossil. So there's two mods that work for the Inquisitor build. It's a low life build, so you can use the 30% more damage on low life or the 30% more Ellie damage. Either one works. So basically, we're going to spam these fossils until we get hypothermia with the 30% more modifier. Here it has it. And this is a totally normal outcome. You're usually going to have a third suffix. It's going to be chaos res or cold res generally. So we need to annul to get the open suffix. Now it has the open suffix. Next step is to lock suffixes. Suffix can't be changed. Then in harvest, you need to reforge crit. At this item level, there's a 50 50 chance for spell crit or attack crit. Or a 1 in 4 to get tier 2 spell crit chance. So this one got attack crit. What you can do here if you don't want this is you can try to go for a maven orb. Or an orb of dominance to elevate the hypo. So that time I elevated it. And we can go for another crit reforge. We go suffix can't be changed again. The reforge crit. This one got the tier two spell crit. And here you have two choices. You can either A, continue the craft, or B, we can lock suffix and the reforge caster to force an influence prefix. And then we can try to go for another Dominus Orb to elevate the Spell Crit up to Tier 1. Um, in this instance, I'm just going to continue the craft because that's probably what most of you guys are going to do after you get this crit. So here, the Lock Suffix. We scour the item. And we Benchcraft Mana. Reason that we go for mana because it blocks the most weight. I'll show you that here. So helmets. Uh, Blizzard Crown is Dex Int base. Influence, Shaper and Elder. And we're at the prefix side. You see mana is 12,000 weight. 12,000 weight blocked with mana. And the mod that we want is Elder Conk Effect. That's what we're trying to go for. And they're all equally weighted at 800 weight. So what we're going to do on the helmet is we benchcraft mana. And we need to exalt slam until the Conk Effect shows up. 
So X slam. X slam. Don't have anything there. So we go suffix can't be changed. Scour. Bench mana. X slam. X slam. Not there yet. Suffix can't be changed. Scour. Mana. X slam. X slam. Still not there. So basically, what we need to do is we need to repeat this process until we get Conk Effect. And it can be pretty expensive. You're unlucky. Uh, for me, this league in SSF, I was extremely unlucky. I think I spent 66 Divines uh, trying to get the Conk Effect. So it's, it's tough. Very hard. I think we can do this. I don't know if it obeys the same thing in the game. No, it doesn't. Usually in the game, on the crafting bench, you can type suffix. Like this. In the vertical bar, you do 25 to 34 mana. Or just 25 to 34. And it'll have both of those crafts. So you can just easily select it and change it. The emulator won't let us do that though, which is fine. Get back to that spot in the crafted mods. I'm not there. That one got T1 life. That would have been sweet of Conk Effect. You can see how tough this can get. Like at this point, we've already spent roughly 3,000 Chaos Orbs. And we did not have our prefix yet. Increase area of effect. Not the mod we want. We're looking for conk effect.
We've actually spent quite a bit more than this at this point. Done. This is 42 divine so far. Scoured this 21 times. Oh. Just the mana. All right, the conch effect is here. Um, at this point, you have two options. You can either A, benchcraft the plus one AOE gems, and call it a day. This will be your helmet, which is a, quite a good helmet. Pretty good. Or B, You can lock suffix again. And then you go for a sling. So what's going to do is it's going to 50-50 the conch effect or the suffix can't be changed to remove it. I'll show you the a sling modifiers. If the conch effect stays, we benchcraft the plus one skeleton, plus one zombies, and then we go for the unveil to try to get the plus two. This is what you do in the mirror tier version. This is really hard. I made a helmet in 3.18 with double elevated suffixes and tier one conch effect. And it took me 23 acelings to get the plus two AoE. I think I ended up spending about three and a half mirrors on that helmet. Very expensive to do. Because like you can see on that one, it ate the conch effect. That one also ate the conch effect. And then you have to do that same process again to get the conch effect back. Right? So going for the plus two is extremely expensive. But it is an extra level. We'll get more damage. You bench the skeleton zombies. You hit unveil. And it did not hit. So in this case, you would just take one. The suffix can't be changed. You would try to save it with an null orb. That time it died. You would need to get the conch effect back. This time it, it showed up this time, but I would say overall, it's much harder to get it than that. Just to get it on two unveils is pretty insane. Craft of Exile does say it's like 37%, but it's a little bit higher than that in reality because you're blocking this huge uh, hitting pull right here. Go for the plus two, but. That being said, I missed 23 of them in a row at 3.18 Sentinel League. So I think for for most people, once you get the conch effect, I would recommend just benching the plus one AoE. But in this case, on this helmet, you would finish it with um, Crafted Life. And this is what the helmet would be like. Yeah, the spell crit, the hypo, 30% more damage, the plus two, conch effect, and then life. And this would be how you would go about making the hat. Um, at the beginning, you could use like horror essences instead. But the odds of getting the suffixes on horror essences, I would say are dramatically lower than fossils. You'll have to spam quite a few to get the 30% more with the hypo uh, overall. Because what fossils do, when you look at the fossil, how it says more cold, no fire, what that means is it blocks all fire modifiers and increases the likelihood that you get a cold modifier by tenfold or ten times the original amount, right?
So I, I would highly recommend using fossils to try to craft this. Um, but that's how you would do it. Um, if there's any questions, uh, just let me know. Ask away. Um, other than that, I think that covers pretty much everything in this video that I wanted to cover. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you about making some more crafting videos as well. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.